In this video, I'm going to show you how to take survey data where you've collected GPS locations and images at those locations and display those points in QGIS and make it so that on hovering your cursor over the points, it displays the image taken at the location. I've downloaded my data and placed it in a project folder, in this case labeled map tip example. And you can see here I have both the XLSX uh, spreadsheet data and also a folder of attachments called attachments that contains the image files. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Excel file. And I'm going to save it as a CSV file. Um, so I'm going to go to File, Save As. From the file format dropdown, select comma delimited CSV and save it into the same project folder that I already created. And I can close that out. And if I look in the attachments folder as downloaded from Kobo Toolbox, you can see that it has placed the images within a folder hierarchy based on the submissions that they came in on. Um, I want all of those images in a single folder. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that new folder. I'm going to call it uh, images, all lowercase. You can name it whatever you want. And then I'm going to go into the attachments folder. And on Mac OS X, I can search um, within that folder for anything with a .jpg extension. I can copy those images that show up. Go back to my project folder into the images folder and paste those items into there. Now I have a single folder in my project folder um, with all of those images. I'm going to go ahead and clean up and remove the unnecessary now attachments folder and originally downloaded data. Now I'm ready to open up QGIS. I'm going to start a new project and I want to add OpenStreetMap base tiles so I can get an idea of where in the world I am once I start adding data and have that background layer just to have a reference. Um, OpenStreetMap data can be quickly added if you have the um, browser panel open. If you, Here on the left is where it should be. If you don't see it, go up to View, Panels, and there's a browser option. Click that, and then this options here should appear. And if you scroll down in there, you can see XYZ tiles, and it should already have OpenStreetMap in there by default. You can double click and it will add it uh, to the background there. Now I want to add the point data from my survey. I'll go up to uh, layer, add layer, and you can see there's a add delimited text layer option. I'm going to click that. Uh, in the options that come up, I'm going over here next to the file name field and click the browse option. Um, I'm here in my map tip example folder and I'll select the CSV file that I saved earlier. Opening that, uh, it will detect or might have to tell it that um, it's a comma delimited. Um, and then you can see it's already auto detected that the point coordinates are held in the fields longitude and latitude. Um, so I can then click uh, to confirm in the geometry and other fields. The sample data looks good. Click add and close this dialog. You can see they are now uh, appearing on the map. I want to save the CSV out as a geo file. Um, so I'm going to right click it in the layers menu, go to uh, export and save features as, uh, choosing in the format as reshape file, and next to file name, clicking browse, making sure I'm in my project folder. And in this case, shape files have multiple files associated with each one. So in order to keep my project folder clean, I'm gonna go ahead and create another folder, call it geo, and save my point data within that folder. Then clicking OK, you can see it added to the map. Uh, I'm going to remove the CSV layer. 
so I'm remaining only the points shape file. And here you can see uh, the geo, the, that single shape file is actually six files that you need to keep those all named the same and in the same folder uh, so that they can be opened correctly. Going back into QGIS, I'm gonna quickly change the style on my points so they're a little bit bigger and easier to see. Right clicking or double left click, going and then going to properties, uh, and I can choose symbology and change my markers. I'm gonna double the size and change the color to a nice bright red so that they're a little bit bigger and easier to see. And here I can zoom in to the ones that in this case were collected at the Bangladesh Red Crescent Training Center uh, where the offices are. Next step, I want to um, add something called a map tip. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, save our project first. So I'm gonna go up to File, Save, and make sure I'm in my map tip example project folder and I'm going to call my project also map tip example and save it there. Also now another thing that we want to set is under project and then properties. I want to set the project home. This will allow me to reference uh, the folder containing the images more easily and also be able to, to move that project folder to a different computer or a different location and still have the links work correctly. So I'm gonna go over here to browse to set the project path, make sure I'm within the map tip example folder and just click open and you'll see that then that path will appear here, project home. And I wanna make sure that save paths is relative. That's what lets me move that project folder, then hit OK, and save my project. So now um, QGIS has this really cool option, Map Tips. You can make sure that it's on by seeing that this icon here in the menu bar, it has a, this gray box around it, Show Map Tips. You can also go to, to View, scroll down, and you'll see Show Map Tips here should have a check next to it, so that, that means it's enabled. I can um, right click and go to properties, my points layer, or I can also double left click it to open up the layer properties. Now uh, we're gonna to go to display with this yellow uh, speech bubble next to it. And here we can set the parameters for our HTML map tip. We can pull out attributes from features uh, using a particular syntax, uh, square brackets with percentage size inside, and then the, the field name surrounded by quotation marks. So we have a field uh, called photo that contains the file names of the images collected in each survey. So let's just type that here into the HTML map tip and hit OK, going back to the map and see what happens. If we hover over one of our points, we can see that that file name from that field is pulled out and will display in the map tip here. Opening back up and going back to our HTML map tip, uh, we can use HTML code to style and add uh, more advanced options into this tip, map tip. So we can use uh, insert an image using an HTML image tag, um, IMG, to start after the caret there. And then it, SRC is the attribute that defines the path to the image source. Um, in QGIS, this needs to start with file colon slash uh, slash slash slash. And then uh, we set project home and we can use that as a shortcut to help uh, the computer know where to locate the images. And that will automatically populate with the system file path to our project folder. Uh, then we have our images folder name, images all lowercase. And inside of that, we will have 
the files with the names from this photo attribute. And then we want to close our image tag. And we hit OK. Now if we hover over one of these, we can see that the image itself is appearing, but there's a problem. The image is too large for the maximum size of the map tip. So what we can do, we can go back into our layer properties and we can add another attribute in addition to source. We can add, for instance, a width attribute and set a value. And this is gonna be a number of pixels and hit okay. Oops. And now if we go back to our point and hover over it, hover over it we can see that the image is shrunk down so that it's only 450 pixels wide. We can easily pull in additional attributes as well. We are going to add in um, a value from a remarks field that exists in our data. And we'll add in a line break so that the remarks appears and then the photos will appear on the next line. And that in HTML is a slash and then BR. And if we hit okay, now we can see that that text is appearing above the image. And we can continue to, to play with HTML to, to style this how we want. In this case, we're gonna wrap it in a the text in a span. And the span allows us to add in attributes that then style this. So we can add a style attribute and inside that define things like color, um, red, and font, weight, uh, we're going to make folder. And if you search on Google, you can go to like uh, any sort of HTML primer and any HTML tutorial, and they'll teach you how to uh, use these different attributes and different uh, HTML features to, to add things to this map tip. Now we're going to go hit OK, and we can see that, yes, indeed, our um, text is now red and Older. And there we go. Uh, quickly adding in points to your map and then being able to preview the images or other attributes from those features. I'm going to save my project and I can close this out and open it back up later.